let's talk about how to make an interactive table of contents page for your digital interactive notebook. So I think a table of contents page is really important because it shows students what they're supposed to have in your notebook and in what order. One thing I did to try to make it a little bit easier for students is I included the cover page and the table of contents on the table of contents in the page count. So that means that my pages actually match my slide numbers. So if you look, the cover page is page one, the table of contents is page two, which means as I go down, we just add one. So slide three is actually page three which means you can just use the numbers on the side as the page numbers and the slide numbers. I think that will help students, especially as we get into a bigger and bigger notebook. The cool thing about the interactive notebook being digital means that we can actually make the table of contents interactive by hyperlinking to the actual page. And here is what I mean by that. So if I click I want to go to page six, which is my ethos notes and examples. I can just click here and then click slide six and it's going to shoot me to that page. Whereas normally I would have to scroll and find it. Now that may seem like it's not that important for these earlier pages, but like if I need to go to page 16, that's a lot of scrolling and I just did it in two clicks. So it just saves some time. It is super easy to hyperlink to pages. So let me show you how to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to type what the title of page 17 is going to be, which right now there's nothing on it. So I'm just going to say sample page. You're going to highlight where you say sample page and you're going to click this link button, which is going to give us hyperlink options. Instead of putting in a link though, we're going to click slides in this presentation. And like I said, since the numbers match, I can actually just pick slide 17 because I was on page 17, which you can't see because it's covering up, and then hit apply. And so now if I click 17, it takes me to 17, and there you go. And actually, I did have something on page 17. So let me fix that. So this is the persuasive speeches project planning sheet. My longer titles are hard to fit in here. I'm just going to make it a smaller font, which makes it very tiny, but it's okay. And I'll just do it again. So hit link, slides in this presentation, scroll all the way down, pick 17, apply. And now if I click it, it takes me to slide 17. Done. Super easy. And you can change them up as you just saw me do earlier. It only takes a couple of steps. So now I have an interactive table of contents that students can just click on to use. I think you should maybe have multiple tables of contents based on the different units or chapters you're putting in your notebook. That may make it a little bit easier for students to navigate. You can also use this to hyperlink to other sections. So for instance, for this persuasive speeches project planning sheet, they have notes about rhetoric and persuasive techniques on pages 3, 11, 12, and 13. I can use that same hyperlink option to link to these pages. So if they need to review the three types of rhetoric, they can just click here. Boom, it takes them there. And it's a lot less scrolling and wasted time for them. So that's how you make an interactive table of contents page for your digital interactive notebook. And it's also how you hyperlink to other slides or pages in your notebook.